So setting up headphones, um, if we go to the master section here, and I'm going to use this where it says artist fallback, I'm going to use channel one, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to solo this channel here. Now at this stage with that soloed, I hear what the artist hears in there. So if I don't hear anything in here at this point, it means that I'm not sending anything from the console into the live room. So what I need to do is on each channel you'll see you've got the input section, the routing section, the auxiliary section and just here it says um, A and B, Q, A and B and Q, A and B are our two headphone mixers so they're two independent headphone mixers so we can actually send two headphone mixers through to the artist so they can um, you can send one to one group of musicians and one to another so in order to get that to go through into the live room, I need to turn up the, um, the Q function on each channel I want to send through to the live room. Like so. So I turn it up accordingly. And usually what I do is I actually put that in to solo. So I can actually hear their headphone mix in here in these monitors before I send it to them. And I can balance it then. I can get a good balance as I turn these up. So I can I, I adjust the individual channel levels for each of these channels. They they only have a an overall volume control in there. So once I've done that, uh, I should hear something coming out of here. If I'm not, there's hearing anything. There's a couple of reasons. Uh, the first reason could be that the Q master is down. So that needs to be turned up. That's on the master section. So that usually catches people out that that's turned down. So that should always be up. And here, on here, as you saw, I'm actually sending QA. Where are you? They, I'm sending QA on each channel. So then when I go over to here, on the artist foldback section, I need to make sure that QA is pressed in, selected. If it's not selected, I won't hear anything. So I have to make sure that's QA because I've got options. I can send all sorts of things to their headphones. Uh, and in this case, I'm just sending back. Say for example, if they've got backing tracks, they're playing to backing tracks, I would just turn up the QA function on the backing track channels and then they would hear that going through into there. Oh, another thing is, is um, click track. If you're using Logic, um, and you want to send a click track, what I tend to do is if I press X to bring up the mixer and I go to all, you'll see that the click track here, sorry, this one here, is a stereo output, so it's actually coming up through channels one and two, but if I select the stereo output, and go to mono and say go to 24, what will happen then is the click track will come out down channels 24 let me just turn that on so you can see that. So I go back over here. There's my click track coming out through channel 24. So then if I turn up my, I don't know if you can see that because the screen's in the way, but if I turn up QA like so, I can hear it coming back through here. So that's my click track. And I usually put it over on a, a sort of channel 24 or over that end of the console so I keep it sort of separate and out the way. Um, I don't know if you noticed there but actually you, I don't know if you can see but I've got that turned up there. I've got that in solo but I'm still not hearing it and the reason why I'm not hearing it is because right by where it says um, Q, Q, A and B there's a function here called pre, it says pre and that allows us to put the um, headphone mix pre-fade, which basically means, regardless of where this fader is here on the channel, the signal is taken pre-fader, it's taken before that fader. So that means that that fader does not adjust the volume of the mix being sent into the um, live room. It's independent, it's pre-fade. If that function is out, if that pre button isn't uh, switched in, I take it out, it means that this controls the level. 
So as a general rule of thumb, we have our headphone mix in pre-fade because then that allows us to adjust any fader in here without affecting the mix going into the live room. So our headphone, the headphone mix is basically independent of the monitor mix in the studio. So that's what you need to do on the console and then you need to come over here on the patch bay. Usually these get left in. I'm not sure why they've not been left in. But if you come on the patch bay, you'll see that it says artist fold back left. Can you see that there? Artist fold back left and right. And then here, not very clear, but it says CAB201 live room returns. And what you need to do is you need to patch that into 41 and 42, um, and they correspond with. A and B on the wall box in the live room. So basically what's happening now is what you're what I'm listening to here, because I've got it still got it soloed, is being sent back through the tie lines and back into the live room and it's coming out on the um, the jack um, returns at the bottom of the wall box, which should then be connected into the headphone amplifier. Um, there's the headphone amplifier just there. So at the moment, there's no signal being shown, metering on the headphone amplifier, and that's probably because it's not being connected, or the level's too low. But I think it's not, it's not connected, it's not powered. So at this stage, with if I'm hearing something through here, and that's patched correctly, I should see something going through there. If there's nothing going in there, then the problem's in the live room, not in the control room. So I hope that helps.